What's up everyone? So today I am making a very special video. I have partnered with Whole Foods to bring you what I would buy when I grocery shop. So there's a lot of questions I get asked like, what do I grab if I'm on the go? What do I grab if I meal prep? What do I grab in the morning for breakfast? So today I'm going to show you everything that I would buy um, if I was grocery shopping for myself at Whole Foods. And the cool thing about it is this Whole Foods is right around the corner from my house. So this is actually the one that I go to all the time. All right, let's get started. Today I'm gonna start in the freezer section just because, I don't know, fruits and veggies, all that stuff is pretty typical. So I'm gonna start here and kind of work my way around. As many of you guys may know, I am a pescatarian, but I do do a pescatarian diet with eggs. But when I look for organic, I look for pasture-raised, organic, free rain, and then usually when I shop, I get these, just because these are $6.99, these are $5.99, and you get more for your values. Now, Whole Foods also has this vegan butter that I'm obsessed with, and I bet you're thinking like, a vegan butter? What? But this vegan butter will blow your mind. It's a company called Melt. It's actually a coconut oil, but it tastes just like butter. Um, so anything that you would typically put butter on, you would sub it for this. So definitely this. Also being pescatarian, I don't do dairy. Again, being at Whole Foods, so there's a milk that I'm obsessed with, and it actually has protein in it. One cup of this milk has eight grams of plant protein. So now, not only are you getting your protein through other sources as you're eating, but you're also getting eight grams of plant protein per cup. So this is definitely a must. I prefer frozen vegetables. Really like green peas. Delicious. One of my secret weapons, it's a brand called Amy's. A lot of people ask me like, what do you eat in the morning? I go for a non-dairy bean and rice burrito. I usually fill my freezer with these, so I'm gonna get like a, a whole box. Um, so in the morning for breakfast, a lot of people ask you, what do you eat, what do you eat? I'll kind of switch between a few things, eat burritos like the ones I showed you, eggs, a protein shake. Usually in the morning I don't have a lot of time, so I'll just always try to grab something that's super quick. Okay, so I'm not gonna get any ice cream because I'm being really good on my diet right now, but I'm gonna show you some really good options if you want something that's low calorie or dairy free. Halo Top is a really good option for like a low calorie, um, ice cream, it has the calories per pint on the container. So these are extremely low calorie. If you're craving something sweet but you don't want to be too, too bad, these are a really, really, really good option. And then if I was going to splurge a little bit and get ice cream, I would get something like this where I would do the cashew milk or the coconut milk. The So Delicious flavors are absolutely bomb.com and um, they're not too, too bad. And again, they're dairy free. So those are some good options if you want to get some ice cream. As I'm walking down the aisle, I just saw a vegan ice cream. Never tried it before. It looks like it's fairly new. Let's see, it's a vegan ice cream. And I was just reading the ingredients and it's pretty good. It's um, coconut cream, cashew milk, it's got natural ingredients and 290 calories for half of a cup and then 20 grams of fat. But the fat, as you can tell, comes from like the cashew, the coconut oil, all that stuff. So it's more of like the healthier fats. This looks like a really good option. I'm gonna have to try this next time. Next up is frozen fruit. I make a ton of protein smoothies and frozen fruit are perfect for them. When I make a protein smoothie, I usually have all my vitamins in it, probiotics, um, fiber, a base of either vanilla or chocolate plant protein or the flax milk that I showed you. And then from there, I'll kind of spice it up. So depending on what kind of like fruit I'm craving at the time, that's gonna be my natural sweetener in the protein smoothie. I'll just switch it up. I'll kind of go into the grocery store and be like, what am I feeling? Maybe some blueberries are always a pretty good choice. Also, if you are gonna do fresh fruit, then you can pick something that's more in season. I'm gonna show you what kind of bread I eat. So I've been on a kick of the Dave's Killer bread. The good thing about this is it's thinly sliced. So each slice is only 60 calories because it's 
more of like a thinner slice of toast. But this is great for the morning. Um, I can have two slices and not feel guilty with my eggs. Um, this is a really good option, so definitely try this out. All right, I wasn't gonna come down this aisle, but I wanted to show you guys some healthy chip options because sometimes I'm just craving like a crunchy, salty texture. So Benitos are a really great option. And the reason that I like them is their ingredients. You can see the ingredients, it's beans, sunflower oil, rice flour. You can literally read everything that are in the chips. And that's one thing that I look for when I buy, especially something like chips. I wanna know what's going in my body. So these are a really good option. Now for carbs, I like quinoa, I like couscous, I like rice, I like beans. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys a lot of things that are in this aisle that I would get. For rice, I prefer rice in a bag because I can put it in the microwave and then I can have it cooked in minutes because I don't have a lot of time. Um, if you have time, you can get rice where you cook it over your stove. Many, many options. I just like more of like a simple way of cooking because I don't have a lot of time. And you put these in the microwave for 90 seconds and it's done and then you have rice. So I'm obsessed with couscous, not only because it's a great carb, but it has seven grams of protein per serving and being pescatarian and having a more plant-based diet, getting protein when and where I can is super important. I like to get the original couscous and then add my own seasoning because a lot of the times when you buy a boxed carb and you get it pre-seasoned. It has a ton of, of, of extra sodium that you do not need. So my best recommendation is get an organic, no seasoned flavor and then season it yourself at your house. Another thing that I always have at my house is black beans. So this one is spicy, it's seasoned, so it has 280 milligrams of sodium. And then this one is regular, and it has 85 milligrams of sodium. Okay, now for an aisle that like people might be like, wow, I need to really stay away from it because it's cereal, and you know, people just might associate cereal with like, er, yeah, don't do it. But I found a really good cereal that I like um, a lot. All right, so I'm obsessed with this cereal. It's 10 grams of plant protein per serving, seven grams of fiber. It's called Kashi Golin. And it's not bad at all. It's almost a full cup. You get seven grams of fat, 32 grams of carbs, and 10 grams of protein. And the really amazing thing about this is if you pair these together, one cup and three-fourths cup, you get 18 grams of protein for breakfast. And you're eating cereal, that's crazy. Ooh, ah. <laughs> I always keep oatmeal in my cabinets, but we all know that oatmeal is good for you, it's a good carb, and it's quick and easy for in the morning. And then this is a really random fact though, there's Old Fashioned and there's Quick Oats, and I'm not a fan of Quick Oats. Yeah, I don't know why, but I just don't like Quick Oats. I think Quick Oats would just get more mushy, and I don't like it. All right, protein bars. If you look at this wall, there's a million Sicilian protein bars, and it's kind of a little overwhelming. What do you choose? What's good? For myself, when choosing a protein bar, I want very few ingredients. If I can read all the ingredients, if I can, if there, maybe if I can even fit all the ingredients on one hand, I'm sold. Because that's more of like a natural bar. And one of the bars that I really, 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 really like is a bar called RX Bar. Apparently everyone really likes them. RX Bar, there's 12 grams of protein. There's egg whites, almonds, cashews, and dates. Four ingredients, and then obviously the flavor of whatever it is, but there's nothing bad in these things. You can see and read everything. 
and they taste amazing. So if you're looking for a protein bar with some protein, something that doesn't have a lot of crap and junk in it, it's not going to bloat you, are My body really does well with potatoes. Um, I just know that from trial and error. So if you don't know if your body works better with rice or with potatoes or whatever, you need to listen to your body, try something, eat it, see how your body processes it, and then you can tell what your body does best with. My body does really well with red potatoes and sweet potatoes. So always, always, I stop my cabinets with potatoes. I'm not gonna get any because I have a giant bag at my house still. I always keep apples at my house. Uh, sweet potatoes. I really like peppers, bell peppers. If I'm craving something um, crunchy and I, I'm not going to reach for a chip, I'm going to reach for some sliced bell peppers. Now, we're going to out some seafood. When I shop for seafood, I really, really try to get fresh or wild caught um, seafood rather than farm raised. For example, this cod is wild caught. One filet is about 30 grams of protein. This is an excellent source of protein. There's only one gram of fat, so you're getting low fat fish, which is perfect. Another fish that I really, really like is tuna. And this is yellowfin wild caught tuna. It's less than one gram of fat. Um, obviously zero carbs, and then 27 grams of protein. The reason I like tuna is it's super fast to cook with cod. You have to bake it for, you know, however long. With tuna, you can literally sear it on each side for a minute or two, and you can have some seared ahi tuna, and it does not take very long at all. So if you don't have a lot of time for dinner, Ahi tuna, seared ahi tuna is the perfect way to go. There is an almond butter that I really like, but they don't have it here, and I think you can only get it online. It's called Claire's Goodness. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of throw that out there because if you're looking for an almond butter or peanut butter for a healthy fat, I would recommend almond butter over peanut butter. Um, but Claire's Goodness is a really good almond butter because it's a sprouted almond. And when you have a sprouted almond, you can naturally digest the almond better. As in, if you just eat an almond whole, when you eat it, your body, it takes a long time for it to digest because it's a hard almond. So if you get Claire's Goodness, um, it's a sprouted almond, so your body can not naturally digest it better. So just a little random fact tip for you. All right, so I'm gonna wrap up this grocery store haul. I wanted to kind of take you guys through not your typical, I guess, grocery haul because we all know, obviously, that this natural section right here behind us is healthy, right? Like, we know that. We know to stay on the outskirts of the grocery store because that's where your whole natural healthy foods are. But in the aisle, find some gems as well, and that's what I really wanted to show you today. So I hope you guys like this. If you guys like this video, if you guys want to see another video or something in particular, give this video a thumbs up and comment in the comment section below what you guys want to see next. And I'll see you guys next time.